Now let's see how I take myself from this to this. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this very pretty autumn-inspired makeup look. Every year I come with a variation of this of this makeup look with a dark lip but in this video I've tried a lot of new products including the new foundation and concealer from Tom Ford so it's sort of a makeup tutorial review kind of video now let's get into it if you don't know what primer to use I strongly recommend this one because it's a great universal one that can work under any foundation today I'm going to show you how this new baby new entry in my makeup collection looks like on my skin this is a new Tom Ford shade and illuminate foundation and I got two colors one of them was like absolutely not <laughs> see I make mistakes when I get my my foundation too and the second color which is the one that I'm using 4.0 fawn is looking like this I have self tan but it's been about seven days, so it's right at the end. I'm taking this brush from Misa. This is 2S. It's normally for concealer, but it works for foundation on my small face. This is a medium coverage foundation, very, very luminous, has a satin finish to it. Let's get it on this side so you can see. Look at this, you guys. I would say it's really, really beautiful. If you love a luminous foundation, this is definitely not that. Let's spread it down the neck. The whole time while I was applying the foundation, I, I've been trying to find the word that describes the finish the best, and that would be pearly. It has a pearly finish, like that sheen, satiny finish. Very, very different than anything. It's almost like it has this capacity of reflecting the light. It's like I have a highlighter. The skin turns very buttery and very beautiful however I think that this is a type of foundation like for example if you have a lot of fuzziness like fuzzy hair on your face mm, I'm not sure if this is for you second if you have dry spots on your skin like I you guys know I'm crazy about skincare, so right now my skin is looking really good in terms of plumpiness and hydration. However, around the mouth, it got a little bit dry. But I'm being like super picky right now. Of course, I had to get the concealer as well. This is Shade and Illuminate Concealer in the color 1W0 Ecru. It is slightly darker than what I would have loved but the color under it um it was just not looking good I bought it but it doesn't look good on me you'll see when I spread it it's okay like I just would have loved yeah thank you I would have loved for it to be just a pinch lighter same undertone 
just a bit lighter. This is a Sephora 57 brush. The same thing goes with the concealer, guys. It's so luminous. I don't think I need to describe to you the level of coverage because you can see it. It's medium coverage. Let's get it in here. Don't forget the inner corner. Just what's left on the brush, I'll apply it on my mobile lid as a base. You're seeing this, this glowiness right here? This is not the type of glow that, you know, once it dries, it disappears. No, it stays like this. I would say use very little product. I'll move on with the NARS, the new bronzing uh, cream. And I have the color Laguna. This is available in two colors, Laguna and Casino. They're both beautiful. However, uh, this is the only one that I have for now. Obviously, I've applied a lot, but if you spread it, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous color because it's not too warm. So you could also use this to contour. Great brush to contour with is this one from My Kit Co. 021. Once you spread the product evenly on your brush, it will be much easier than to apply it on the face. I've used this bronzer just once on my stories. I wanted to show you guys in there as well. Like I said, great color to contour with, but also to warm up the skin. And it really goes beautifully with this foundation. It melts into the skin. A little bit on the hairline. It's weird if I don't. But then I don't like it too much on the hairline, so I take a foundation brush and I go over it. See, now it's better. Sometimes I like to do this with the bronzer. Just take the foundation brush and calm it a bit. We've got to contour that jawline. Well, you don't have to, but I'm a lot rounder now so this is gonna help and again using the foundation brush to calm it down this bronzer is very very similar with the huda beauty tantor if you have that you do not need this however i find that it's a bit more luminous than tantor tantor goes a bit matte and then I wanted to check out the color in comparison with the Makeup by Mario contour stick. This is in light medium. Here is the Makeup by Mario. Let me spread it so you understand that it's, uh, it's pretty similar. Right? So again, if you have this, you don't need to get this. I'm just here looking after your money. I just got this powder. This is the Givenchy. Prisma Libre in the color 3 Voile Rosé. It's really, really fine, this powder. It's like you're wearing nothing. I don't know if you could see, but there are four different colors. And when you mix them, they're gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to take this brush, dip it in, take the excess off. See if the concealer creased a little bit. Don't use powder if your concealer creased. Spread it first. So as usual, I focus on the under eyes. And around the nose, a little bit of powder on the forehead. Forgot to apply lip balm at the beginning of the video, so I'll do it now. This is the Omorovica, and I love it. I've used this quite a lot. Mm, so much better. What is it with a pregnancy and dry lips? I have never been as dry as now. Maybe when I took Accutane. Cannot even begin to tell you how beautiful this powder is. Sisley Fito Touche Sun Glow Bronzing Gel Powder. 
beautiful glow gives you a beautiful glow i take it with a big love this brush from refer take an extra layer of light we have to admit that this brush is way too big for me it's like the size of my head i'm gonna roll with it just because i love the feeling it's a 25 brush from refer nothing new on the eyebrows i use brow wiz in the color taupe I want a stronger brow, so I'll move on with a tinted brow gel. So I normally recommend you to use tinted brow gel on its own, but this time we're going to apply it on top of the pencil. Like I said, for a bolder, stronger look. This is Legendary Brows from Charlotte Tilbury. I told you many times that when you do when you plan to do a very strong lip apply that first and then move on with the eyes because if you do the eyes first you might end up having a too strong of a eye makeup that will not work with the lips so i'll do the lips now taking the lip balm off night moth lip liner from mac I will overline the top lip, but only here at the cupid's bow. When you do your own lip contour, it really helps a lot if your elbows are being steady. So put them on a steady surface and also rest your pinky to your chin. I think I'm going to mix these two from Lisa Eldridge. So one is Velvet Midnight and the other one is the Velvet Myth. I kind of destroyed Velvet Mil Midnight. Oh my god. I forgot how gorgeous this is. I also want to add the Velvet Myth on top. I need some blush and I'll use this one from Rose Ink with the Rose Ink brush. This is a number two. Get it a bit higher like so. I love these shimmery pencils from Marc Jacobs. They're also super, super long lasting. I will apply it on the waterline, the upper waterline, is that how you call it? And a little bit in here. Oh. The thing about this pencil is that it dries so fast. It's a long lasting one. Okay. Now I'm going to use this palette. This is the Glam palette from Natasha Denona. And I'll take this color, apply it at the outer corner. And on the lower lashes. To lift the eye. I've taken a clean brush to blend this out. Refer 01 brush. 
Let's take bra bone. Oh, this color right here. It's a Sigma E25 brush. Mobile lid. Okay, this is gorgeous. A little bit on the bra bone too. And on the lower lashes. Like so. I needed that luminosity. Let's curl the lashes. This is the Shiseido eyelash curler. Sweet lashes mascara, you know. Violette FR, this is the highlighter stick which I'm obsessed with. I have warmed it on the back of my hand and then... Look at this glow. Yes. Mm -hmm. What a difference hair makes, right? Thank God for the hair. All right, guys, and we came to the final look. Totally enjoyed creating this for you and for myself. Now I need to find uh, somewhere to go. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please find the list of products in my description box. As usual, follow me on Instagram if you don't follow me already. Subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can see more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next one. Bye!